have to understand that we have a cultural memory. So what I'm talking about is not just how I feel. There is good research to show now that everyone in here has a cultural memory. You have a genetic code, but you also have a generational code. And so that means memories and dreams and resistance and trauma are passed down. That's how kids just create. That's how they're like, where did you, how did you learn how to do this? And the child says, mm -hmm. No, 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 you have something in you. And it's our job as educators to unlock it, to help it grow, to nourish it, but to understand the social context that that you have to grow it in. It's not ahistorical, it's coming from a place, and to remember that place. So what I'm arguing here is that what we say we want kids to have, they actually already have it. I'm going to give you some examples. We want students to have social and emotional intelligence. And we don't understand how that is deeply tied to art, particularly hip hop. So let me give you an example. Uh, have you ever seen a hip hop cypher? Right? You got kids in a circle, which is so indigenous. And then those kids in the circle are rap battling, OK? So you have a female MC who's spitting fire, and then you have another MC who wants to go. How does that next MC know when to go? Does he or she raise their hand? I would like to rap. <laughs> Is there a list? <laughs> but how do they know when to go? It's all social and emotional intelligence. That's it. They have to feel everything that's going on, listen to every single person who's spitting, and if they repeat something that has been said, it better be dope. And you're going to tell me this kid's got social and emotional intelligence. Critical thinking and problem solving. That's hip hop. How do you create culture in the most oppressive conditions? That's critical thinking and problem solving. How do you have someone like Chance the Rapper with no record deal about to win a Grammy? That's critical thinking and problem solving. <laughs> Grit and optimism. You got folks now trying to measure black and brown kids' grit and optimism. Grit. I'm African American and I'm standing here. Oh, I got grit. <laughs> optimism. Black and brown folks are some of the most optimistic people you've ever seen. We got to be. We got to be. We believe in this country. And when we, and when we don't get what we want, oh, we hold them to it. But we believe. Research. Ask these kids about McMills. Where Drake getting his rhymes from? Oh, the research is real. They got receipts for this stuff. So when we talk about what we want kids to have, I'm telling you that within their culture, with African creativity within the traditions and the mindsets and the ideas within these cultures, they have the things they need. And so as our educators, we got to understand that the kids come with this. And how do we pull it out of them? How do we get this stuff out of them? And what I'm talking about starts very young. Uh -huh. talking, he was looking at everyone, and what we know is that that gibberish is early learning. 
That's exactly what we want from an early learner. But now he's putting his hip hopness, his identity in his early learning. And what we know in 2012, the National Center uh, Institute for Deafness and Other Communication Disorders hooked up 12 freestyle MCs. And they wanted to understand their prefrontal cortex, their brain functions when they're freestyling. And it was off the charts. The creativity, the imagination, all the things you need to be creative and move that creativity into action is there. When kids are deeply embedded and doing the work and creating art that means something to them. 